Hey, I'm Vea. This is Case by Case Divorce. And today I am all fired up. I'm just gonna lay it out there because I see this happen so many times and it's causing so much damage in so many people's divorces. If you're in a high conflict divorce, changing this one thing is gonna make such a huge difference to your mental health, your general well-being, and even your court case. Are you ready for it? It is texting your ex. You're in a high conflict divorce. You need to stop texting your ex. Stop texting your ex. <sighs> when your ex is messaging you, they're not texting you to ask a question or give information or communicate in the way that normal people do. High conflict people are texting you to get a reaction. They want to see that they've made you angry, sad, or fearful. If you are feeling tightness or tension or you're too cold or you're hot or your heart's pounding or you're sweating, or your mouth has gone dry. If there's any type of shock or trauma response happening, if you feel fear, if you feel sadness, if you feel anger or outrage or grief or disbelief or shock, if you have any of those going on, do not send any messages to your ex. Don't do it. Whatever we send out into the universe is just given back to us. So if you send an email in a state of fear, you are going to get back more reasons to feel fear. If you're angry and you shoot off a text, you're gonna receive more reasons to be angry. That's how it works. I don't make the laws, I'm just telling you what they are. So this makes it really, really clear. You can only put out what you wanna get back if you're gonna you know, live your best life. So the ideal situation if you're in a high conflict divorce is to only be communicating via email or third-party platform like our family wizard or our two houses texting should be held only for emergencies i.e kid broke his leg we're on our way to emergency right that's it set up your own email address you send them a message from it that says dear so-and-so moving forward i will only be receiving communication from you to this address. Please do not text anymore unless it is an emergency involving the children. Any future text messages or email messages to my old address will be blocked. Thank you. Signed, Vea. Okay, that's it. And then you send it and be ready for the pushback. It's not like they're just gonna go, okay, I won't. Of course, they're gonna bombard you with texts. You know what you do? you send one reply. Per my email, I'm no longer responding to text messages unless they are an emergency. And then never respond to a text message again. Please stop text messaging with your ex. It's too fast, you're involving all these negative emotions and you're adding fuel to the fire. What we need to be doing is starving these people of our energy. So get that emotional charge out of your correspondences create space in between your and now what to do with all your emotions i've made another video for that check it out here this is case by case divorce i'm vea please hit like or subscribe if you think this information is useful also share it with other people that you think can help and thank you for watching i do appreciate your sharing your time with me sorry for the rant i just i'm passionate about this one i can't hold back um so thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys next time